guys, so someone left a comment on one of my videos on my main channel um, asking for me to talk about body image and I actually thought that would be a really good topic for this uh, channel so it's this week's theme. Now obviously I'm quite into the whole fashion thing, not in a oh my god that was like so last season kind of way but in a self-expression kind of way and we've already covered that on this channel. Um, so when I think of body image I actually think of fashion because the fashion world is known for being very sizist and controversially I quite like the small models don't hate me <laughs> um, but not for everything I like the small weirdly pretty weird looking yeah it's nice isn't it models are just odd looking creatures but I like it when they're not like I hate the really skinny like I can see your bones kind of skinny but the kind of healthy skinny girls I like that only for avant-garde and um, kind of couture fashion because that's that's more art and they're one in a kind dresses like they don't make loads of them they don't make them in different sizes they just make it to be looked at um, and it's less material <laughs> you know and um, they just basically need like a kind of clothes hanger of a girl to just walk it up and down the catwalk so people can look at the, the dresses. They never intend to buy the clothing to wear it. I mean, you'd look ridiculous wearing half the kind of couture avant-garde stuff that comes down some of the runways these days, but it's just meant to be appreciated for what it is and what the designer's done with it and what they're trying to say, like art is. The issue I have is how there's just such a lack of diversity with brands like the majority fashion where the clothes are actually meant to be worn. You can open a fashion magazine and they recommend you a ton of incredibly expensive clothes um, but like for you, for the reader, like if you have that kind of money so the people that are meant to be wearing the clothes are I would say the public, like the normal average Joe, but the normal average Joe does not have enough money to buy designer clothing um, but the, even the people who have enough money to buy designer clothing are not all 18 year old, 20 year old skinny models. They're just not. They're most of the time older because they have more money and they're real women or real men and the designers make their clothes in sizes that do cater for that. So it just seems almost just stupid that they wouldn't involve bigger models because it's like saying that their clothes only look good on really skinny models. If you're making the clothes in bigger sizes, why not show that? Why not show a woman what she would look like in the clothes that you're trying to sell her, you know? But I use the term diverse rather than just like size because I also really don't like the way that fashion is only geared towards young people, like youth. Or, you know, the majority of it is only geared towards youth. And actually, new fashion that's coming out, like you, fresher, younger designers, are actually involving a lot more uh, like older models which I think is great because fa you, like fashion just doesn't stop the second you get a wrinkle it's, it carries on and it's just it just annoys me that it's so youth orientated I'm gonna be dressing like kick-ass when I'm 110 which I intend to live to I'm gonna be like the crazy old granny who wears all of her clothing at once like the advanced style woman and no one's gonna stop me, but it's just, I would find it kind of like, uh, what's the word, kind of, like, you know, I'm not being included if I was an older woman and watching all these young people walk down in these clothes, it's just, it's kind of excluding, in the same way that it is for, um, people of bigger sizes. Anyway, that's my two cents on the fashion world, um, but yeah, body image difficult thing to talk about because it's it's a very kind of down to you kind of thing it's it's a it's a confidence thing and it's an attitude thing and you can never teach someone how to feel especially how to feel about themselves it's something that you kind of have to have to reach your own epiphany and that comes with experience or time or age I don't know a number of different things um, but some people never love their bodies and some people do love their bodies but not all the time, hardly anyone loves their body all the time, I'm guessing. You know, we all have, you know, Christmas dinner. When you eat your Christmas dinner and you're sat there with your food baby, I bet you're not thinking that you're looking too hot then. But I bet models aren't, and I bet their food babies show up even more on their washboard stomachs. So, you know, no one feels great about their bodies all the time. But we should feel comfortable about ourselves most of the time. 
When people ask me how I have the confidence to wear whatever I want out and about, I just tell them that I kind of adopt a fuck you attitude. So if I like what I'm wearing and I think it looks good and, you know, I'm happy with it, then I'm quite happy to walk out of the door and just be like, fuck you to anyone who thinks different because they're not wearing it, I am. Um, at, um, sorry, when you're looking in the mirror, you need to be happy with yourself and you kind of need to adopt the fuck you attitude for yourself because we get ourselves down the most and we're the number one player in our own game, effectively. So we need to look out for ourselves, you know, like you can only love, you've got to love yourself before you can love another person and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I think you need to adopt the kind of fuck you attitude to yourself because there'll be times because I love food, just full stop, I love food, I love food from all different cultures and I just, I'm a, I'm a foodie, basically, I love food. Um, and there will be times when I've eaten a lot of food or whatever, or a lot of food which isn't too great for me and I'll be there like feeling really bad about myself and beating myself up and it's just like, fuck you Jess, stop it, feel good about yourself, like even though you did eat a huge meal, it was good and I enjoyed it and I enjoyed the conversation and I enjoyed, you know, the, the taste of it, well, I don't know, it's just, you just need to shake yourself or slap yourself a couple of times every now and again and not get too carried away with your own kind of self-loathing that you can have. Because body image isn't everything, it's sadly in this world quite important and especially in different industries, I mean I want to go into acting so body image is important, but not important to the, f you know, but people get carried away, it's like, it's like in the acting industry, women getting Botox and boob jobs and nose jobs, and it's just like, stop it, feel confident in yourself, like you're, you are you, you're never going to be someone else, stop tra like changing yourself, I mean, you should aim for healthy, you should be healthy, but it is, it's just a confidence thing, and it's, it's an attitude, and I can't, tell you how to how to like yourself more but you should we should all love ourselves because we're all humans and we're all different and unique and that's the point and that's what's so good about the world and that's what's so good about humans that we are all different and unique in size shape age everything right so that's basically it i think um, i'm really excited to see what everyone else has to say for this i don't know i kind of spoke about fashion for quite a lot of it uh, oh, I'm really excited to have the new people on the channel. Welcome. Loved your video. It was good. So, I uh, will see you next week.